Hola, a ustedes espectadoras y suscriptoras de mi canal. He agregado subtítulos en inglés a todos mis vídeos y puedes hacer clic en el botón de subtítulos para cambiar los subtítulos en español. Hi, you guys. So today I've got an order I placed with Blush USA about a week, week ago, week and a half, two weeks, something like that. And um, so I've had this for a couple days, but I just haven't been able to record a video. So these are some of the new bath bombs that uh, Lush has made. And so it has writing up here, Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics. And this has this yay, and then this very fragile and um, and then it says like yay on the other side so I can't remember how many I bought I think I bought I bought one or two of each so I'm gonna put on my glasses for a while so I can uh, read because you know <laughs> I am old I have my eyesight isn't the best so there's the inside of the package and so now, let's see. So first we have a Lush Times catalog. And it's all about Snow Fairy. In my opinion, it's too much about Snow Fairy <laughs> this year. Anyway, so this first one is Black Rose Bath Bomb. Now this one, um, is slightly different from the Black Rose Bath Bomb that I've uh, reviewed and I have a video here of. It's just a slightly different uh, color of tips. The previous one that I had reviewed here, I have a video here called Black Rose Bath Bomb Demo. And the one that I had, all of these little raised round edges, just the tops of them had a red metallic um, kind of cocoa butter mix on them. It was like a red metallic cocoa butter mix. Here's a picture. And these ones um, do not. So they're just black um, and they, it looks like they still have that lovely glitter. Now this was made in the popular Lush Rose Jam scent, which is, uh, smells like rose scent, but it's a lighter, um, more fun, sort of yummy kind of rose. There's a, such a thing as Rose Jam. Of, um, sweet, and sometimes they make Rose Jam candies, or they just have Rose Jam to put in various dishes that they eat. And Lush made a lot of things, um, a bubble bar to begin with, and then a shower gel a couple of years later in the rose jam scent. They made a lot of things in the rose jam scent. Here's a picture that I made um, back when I had almost all of the rose jam things that Lush has ever made and put them in a photo. So I will definitely demo this bath bomb, this black rose as well. It's the same scent, which is so good, so good. And isn't this the coolest looking bath bomb? Seriously? I think it is. Very good bath bomb. Okay. The next thing that I have, this one is the Diamond Dust Bath Bomb. And I've already uh, reviewed and demoed on a video here on YouTube and on my blog, uh, taking pictures in a bathtub demo of this and wrote about it. This was also included in one of the Lush Kitchen subscription boxes as an exclusive a few months ago. And this one is a little different. The other one, which here's a picture of it, 
the Diamond Dust Bath Bomb I got in the Lush subscription box had more colors. It was purple, yellow, and pink. And this one is more of a, just a pink color that I can see anyway. And you can see it has glitter in it. And mm, this has a beautiful kind of um, yummy fragrance. It has peach notes, strawberry notes, and even some notes from the Lush cocktail fragrance. It smells floral and fruity at the same time. So I will also demo this one again in the tub to see what the differences are. Um, you can tell that the one that we received in the Lush Kitchen's monthly subscription boxes uh, were the prototype to this one is what I'm trying to say. So they, they, when they first create a bath bomb, they, you know, they make it and they, um, and then they may tweak it here and there depending on what their customers um, might like or not like. So I'll definitely be making another, um, I'll definitely be making another bath demo of this one as well and upload it here to my YouTube channel like I do and on my blog. Next is the one I'm excited about because I've never tried it. Mm, this is Unicorn Poop Bath Bomb. <laughs> unicorn Poop Bath Bomb and it looks like unicorn poop. I love it. It's got all the colors of the rainbow, like a unicorn poop would have. <laughs> and, um, oh, there's the Lush logo on the bottom. And it has this lovely smell. I hope I don't have white powder on my nose. It smells kind of, um, kind of fruity and kind of yummy. So that's the unicorn poop. And, oh good. And then, there is this one. Mm. And this is a new bath bomb called Lux, L-U-X-E, Lux. And isn't this pretty? I have not tried this one either. And this one is said to have the scent of the um, lush cocktail scent but they add a little bit of strawberry to it and you can tell it's got purple it also seems to have glitter purple pink aqua blue and this sort of brown color so I can't wait to see what kinds of bath art this will make so that's looks and the other things in this box are just more of the same. I got two looks. Okay. And and another unicorn poop. <laughs> And then another black rose, I believe. Yes, another black rose. So those are the things that I got. And I think the best smelling one. I don't know if I like the scent of this one looks enough as much as the other ones because it smells like um, there's a lot of jasmine in here. I could be wrong. Um, it might be something else that I'm smelling, but there's a lot of it. And it kind of reminds me of the Flying Fox um, Lush scent. It's called Lust is the scent of the perfume that they used to have. Um, and the shower gel version of that scent was called Flying Fox. 
And that's somewhat what this reminds me of. Um, it's not exactly that scent, but it's, it's got a lot of jasmine in it, like that, like those scents. And I'm not a big fan. It has to be just bright as far as jasmine. Um, there has to be um, like other stuff in it. So, so as far as that goes, this is my least favorite scent, but it's the, one of the ones that I have not tried and the color of it is gorgeous. This one I have not tried and this smells fruity. I like it. And I have not ever tried this. This one smells like sweet rose jam. And this one smells a little different than, um, than the greenish and pink one that I have uh, reviewed. That, but this is nice. It smells fresh, but floral and slightly foody. And then there's this one. You have to like rose and rose jam in order to like this one. Um, this is the one, these two are the ones that I'm most excited about. And uh, even though I've already used this one with the red metallic cocoa butter tips, um, I still think it's wonderful and I'm glad I have another couple of ones because when it was out before, um, when I got it at the Lush Creative Showcase, I, I think I had like four or five of them and I used them all up and I was wishing that they would bring them back and they did. And then of course this one. So um, be looking forward to videos of all four of these that I'll be uploading um, every day here on my Lush YouTube channel. And thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you have any information about these bath bombs that I've forgotten to mention, or if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. And next I'm going to be uploading the, uh, the December Lush Kitchen subscription box. I'll be doing an unboxing uh, in the video after this one. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.